Welcome back. I'd like to continue stepping you through some of the things that you can be doing in our studio. Um, we've connected to the server. Um, we have a bunch of packages that have been preloaded for us. The ideas of packages are important in R. They're a way of extending the functionality in useful ways. There's a lot we're going to be doing using the, the mosaic package and the data sets in the mosaic package. To access those, we need to run the command require. And if I say require mosaic, and I also want to be uh, giving the command require mosaic data. When I run this just by hitting return, it will actually go ahead and load those packages and give me some, some indications, but then give me the prompt at the end, which shows that I actually have loaded them successfully. There are a bunch of functions in these packages. Um, I want to give some sense of the type of things you can be doing using the formula interface that we'll be using throughout the course. I want to also say that these are, information is available on the R guide to um, statistics uh, in the five colleges. The favstats function is one of my favorites. It allows us to look at a variable, in this case the age variable, from the help randomized clinical trial. The general form of commands in R using the mark, uh, mosaic package will be with this formula interface, this tilde character that we'll see in various ways. This can allow us, for example, to see the age of our subjects. When we do this, we see that there are 453 subjects. They have a mean age of 35.7 years, uh, and they range from a minimum of 19 to a maximum of 60. We'll have lots of practice to be able to think about um, these distributions. We can also calculate the age, say, separately by um, males and females. There's a variable called sex in the data set, which is coded male or female. When we run that, it actually gives us this breakdown of, of gender. Graphical displays will be something that's really important for us throughout the course. Let's go ahead and see some box and whisker plots of age as a function of sex uh, from the HELP study. When we do this, it'll actually change the help menu on the right. That panel will suddenly pop up to be the uh, plots menu. And we can see here that we have the um, females and males of approximately the same age. Distributions seem roughly, roughly symmetric. Other ways we can kind of be thinking about the same thing. The density plot function will describe the distribution of age. But we can also uh, then say that the groups variable is equal to sex and let's add a key to the top of it. By doing this, I'm actually specifying other options and we'll go into detail throughout the course. This will actually let us go ahead and fit overlapping uh, density plots. And we can see here the distribution of the females and males with these superimposed density plots. We can move back and forth with the plots. We can go ahead and zoom them in various ways. And it's a very nice feature. We can actually export these in a variety of formats. So overall, it's relatively straightforward to be typing stuff directly into R in our studio using some of these helper functions that are described um, in the, uh, the documentation that we've provided, um, and also just to kind of get you started thinking about some exploratory analysis of data.